Welcome back. Here we go. This is uh, this is this should be a fruity one. Okay. Miss Chris Merlin, Darren Appleton. Neither, neither need the introductions here, do they? Sandals, sandals after a bit again. No one's taking you up on it though, are they? This could be close. Um, if I was going to put my money, I would say probably. No, I think Darren's got the edge. Chris is. Chris is playing a lot of disciplines of pool at the moment, um, and Darren's focused purely on nine ball. So uh, I would, I would say, just based on that, I would say Darren's probably got the slight, slight edge. But if we're talking odds, it wouldn't be much between them. Melling doesn't miss a lot either. Who do we think is going to win? Commentator, no, no one wants my money. Well, you know, you were. Uh, oh, look what's he doing here. Come on, then, Darren. Behind the back push out for your first shot. Behave. See, now, Darren knows Melling very well. The chances of Melling turning this pot down, which sails in, I would say, are pretty slim. Pretty slim indeed. Just a reminder everyone, if you could share the stream, if you could get it onto onto your pool groups, and I think there'd be a fair few people want to know about this match. Um, Chris Manning and Darren Appleton, always good to see these um, these two play. I think, uh, you know what? You give, you give it him back, what do I know? If he, if he avoids a scratch, he's all right. <laughs> Used all of that pocket, didn't he? He used all of that pocket. I've just watched the replay now. Whoa. That was close. Chris is a bit of a bit of an expert in the diamond system, though. So I think for the next next ten seconds, you might see him pointing at the table a little bit. I just don't know what he's doing. He seems to. Darren and Chris got me dinner. Bloody hell, that's rare, they're both northern. <laughs> you did well, was it McDonald's? There he goes, he's working out his, he's working out his numbers. He's making his list, he's checking it twice. We had fish and chips that way. <laughs> there we go. That makes that makes more sense now, Paul. That makes more sense. <laughs> In Qatar, does that mean they're expensive fish and chips, or were they cheaper than our fish and chips? All right. Who do people want to win here anyway? Who's uh? There he is. The magician. Don't take mine over it, it's written all over his back. I'll take 30 quid on Darren. There you are, hold on. Sanal, there you go, you got a taker. Sorry, little, little, little edgy safety exchange start to this. Darren did lock him up pretty nicely, but uh, Chris is uh, Chris is a wily character for for kicking, getting out of safeties. He's gonna have to do it again now. This one's a little simpler. He's gonna he's gonna wanna you need to wanna use the two ball here for a bit of support to uh, hide that one ball. Up the frog and firkin. <laughs> okay. I lost to Darren 9 8. I've never played him. Never played him. My uh, my travelling partner, uh, Terry Challenger, 
he beat him last time he played him and um Darren played Terry Challenger in the in the main event and he beat him 9-1 and then proceeded to remind him that he beat him last event and he owed him that one. <laughs> Which uh, I'm sure Terry was chuffed a bit about. He, uh, he dusted him 9-1. Oh. First chance for Darren. So right, we've got 140 people on at the minute. Let's uh, Let's try and break that 200 barrier. Let's try and break that 200 barrier. Click that share button. Get it out there. Share to your groups. Some hell of good matches to come today. Just trying to think anything that's going to be of an issue. Five to six ball. Only thing that a potential problem, but probably not just because the eight ball's there with a the blocker. Don't see a lot going on. Maybe a little bit more angle than he wanted here, but absolutely fine. Whichever decisions these decide to make, I'm probably going to agree with them because they've forgotten more than I know. He's in really good shape to get on the, on the six ball here now. Wants to be close to his work. Absolutely inch perfect. A bit of a shame for bit of a shame for Darren uh, with recent events because he's 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 games have really really come back to him the last uh, 12 18 months so I'm sure he would have uh, done some done some damage at the UK Open but he did get he did get a good session of fishing and I know that. <laughs> Jordan and Jared. The score. What's, uh, on the other table, um, on the other quarterfinal, it's Marcel Price versus Arfan Dad, and well, that's that's just started as well. So nothing to tell you there. Is he a bit too? Is he a bit straighter than he wanted to be on this seven? I wonder. He's stood up a couple of times on it already. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, does he elect to put the cue through this and come across twice? Or we'll try and kill the white ball? Oh. He's hung it. I think it was the right shot still. I think it was the right shot. Um, just... Uh, wasn't a million miles off. It's... Uh, Stuck in that pocket. I've just got into uh, into a bit of trouble at the hotel because I actually haven't haven't checked out my room yet, and uh, they're going to give me a little extension on it. Here we are, first blood to Chris. Uh, uncharacteristic mistake, I'd say, from Darren there. You want to brush that off as soon as he possibly can. Doesn't want to be bringing that into any of the racks. you're wondering what balls we're using dinospheres you know you'd be happy to know that uh, my traveling partner Terry Challenger is into the last 16 I'm giving you my updates on the challenge one other players through Lee Creighton Phil Warman Andy Worthington Gareth Hibbert 
Jake Newlove and Yan Wong. I haven't seen Yang um, Yan play, but I've, I've heard some really, really good things about him. He's about 20 years old. Um, and uh, some very, very complimentary things I've heard about him here and there. And then in the main event, still on the opening rack on the other table, uh, Marcel Price and Arf Handad. Um, next match up after this one is going to be Mark Gray and Imran Majid. The fixture probably most played in the semi-finals in the final GB9 in the last 10 years. <laughs> These two have met and it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's always close. It's hardly ever close. One of them normally runs away with it. But uh, just like choosing who that player is before is uh, almost impossible task. But after watching Mark play earlier, he's um, yeah, he's queuing really, really well. Chris has got um, some issues with the break. We've got some new referees this weekend. Um, I'm not going to try and remember their names because I'm not good at like that. Um, but uh, I know that this is their first event. I'm sure they won't mind Chris having a little word. Chris breaks so well that when the wing ball misses and goes in, he apologises. Oh, which leads me on to something. Um, I did mention it. I did mention it yesterday. Um, but Chris, Chris Melling pulled out one of the, I'll say, sportsmanship master classes yesterday he uh, was playing Andy Worthington um, in the main event it was Hill Hill um, the six seven eight and nine ball were left on the table um, Chris queued up on the seven uh, was all but just about to take the shot uh, he overheard someone in the in the crowd say he's queuing on he's queuing on the wrong ball so instead of just standing back up and then queuing on the six ball um, he decided to tap the white and give ball in hand at Hill Hill um, to Andy Worthington um, because he was definitely going to play on the he was definitely going to play on the seven ball instead of the six ball and didn't want to win based on the fact someone in the crowd um, gave him a heads up and gave Andy Worthington ball in hand with four balls left Hill Hill, which I don't think there's many uh, many professionals in the sport. Um, that would have done that. So uh, well done to Chris, and well done on taking a two-rat lead there. So it's flying off. But, um, yeah, um, big huge pat on the back from uh, from all the players there um, for what Chris did yesterday. I think it was uh, quite remarkable. Right, so is. Uh, We'll find out if that uh, that missed that missed eight ball is is playing on Darren's mind or not. Hopefully not, because I want to see uh, I want to see Darren in full flow. The next match on table sixteen. Have all the Kiwis gone now? Have, have we lost all the Kiwis? Martin Taylor, cheers, Ryan. What for? What did I do? Managed to get myself a coffee in the end. Result. Christian Daniels, what are the pool crowds like in England? Um, we've got about eighty-five thousand in the. <laughs> um, for the for the GB9 events, it's uh, predominantly the players, but obviously uh, I think it's one hundred and four players at this event. Also, I might be wrong there. Um, for the UK Open, there was, there was a fair crowd for the last few days. Um, obviously, a two-five-six player tournament. Um, is he going to have a shot on this one? I think it's just going to run out on him. Might have an edge. If he's got an edge, he's, he's not going to play the pot. That's for sure. No, we got one Kiwi then. One Kiwi, Kent. Uh, but in, in terms of crowds, obviously the Moscone is always generally absolutely packed. Uh, that's the main event. And obviously Matchroom um, are trying to build the crowds for their events. 
and uh, it was a good good turnout for the UK Open. But for for GB9, as we see, friends friends and family and players generally. Oh, still got two Kiwis. Not licking the wounds too much then. Not licking the wounds. I think uh, I just spoke. I just briefly spoke to Mark Gray um, at the bar just after that match, and as I as I pointed out, well, hold on, just a second. Do an airborne here, which is pretty handy with that. Look at that, fantastic shot. Um, I did allude to uh, a shot that um, Matt played uh, the very thin cut which he threw his cue at um, and Mark did spot that as a he's not very comfortable time to time to put the hammer down because Mark wasn't Mark wasn't feeling 100% in that game so that uh, that gave him the little uh, chink in the armour he wanted to see and uh, he didn't really get another shot shot of the ball after that just got to clear this nine now just got to clear it lovely he's spot on there Use, just use the seven a bit, and there he is. Looking confident, Chris is. In confident mood. An ominous sight when he is. A little bit short there. A little bit hampered by the nine, but should be all right. Let's kill this. Lovely. Not a lot to go wrong here now. Of course he used some extra rails. It's Chris Melling, isn't it? It's very hard to call what he's going to do. I think he just dropped low under the nine then. But uh, put himself in an even better position. He's not the tallest of blokes though. So he does have to utilise the rest. Uh, definitely more occasions than I do. Um, but... Uh, Sneak and pull background. He's used to it. He's used to travel though. What's this to travel? A little bit higher than he wanted, but don't expect it to be an issue for him. Nothing but net. Fly, flying off into a 3 0 lead. Really, really leaving Darren to be thinking about that 8 ball now. So what do we think the final score is going to be here? Do we think Darren's going to come back into it? Or do you think Chris is going to run away with it? Who, what do we think? Scores on the doors. Give us your final score lines and we'll see who wins at the end. Happy. He's not happy. <laughs> so obviously with, with GB9 it is normally a racky roan. Um, but then we get to the latter stage of the mains. Um, we have uh, referees available in the room. Told that Lewis is on his way to me. Do I want anything? How much coffee have I got left? 
Oh, he timed it well. I'm okay. Yeah, Laszlo, what, what you said about Chris there, absolutely. Uh, nine for Chris Melling, John Perry. Oh, that's a hell of a break there. Hell of a break there, so... Just got this shot to negotiate now, and uh, looks good for 4-0. Oh, no, it doesn't. He ain't got into that at all. Has he left it, though? Let's have a look. You know what? I think he's got away with that. I think he's got away with murder there. So, Darren will be... Um, Thanking his lucky stars that he hasn't tucked that uh, tucked that two ball away. But we'll be uh, bemoaning the fact that he's covered it. Do we have gappage? I think we do. Yeah, left the as we say, left the Watford gap. Ooh, extra turn of the ball there would have uh, would have would have put Darren in real problems. Yeah, as I, as I say, there's um, uh, new referees to nine ball. I would say so. The, the there's a couple of new referees this weekend, and I think they come from an uh, English eight ball background. So there's just just a few bits on uh, on, on racking the balls that they'll they'll. I'm sure they'll perfect in no time. Just caught the knuckle there. Is that going to go in his favour? I think it is, you know. He'll take that. Darren will take that. Is he jumping this? That's that's a that's a close old jump. That's probably less than about two inches. Looks like from here. I reckon nine six for Chris. Greetings from Cardiff. Right, Lewis, how are we doing? Oh, he's jumped over it. Oh, my God. How unlucky was that? I've just seen that on the replay. Wow. He was bang on line. Double hopped over it. Darren's got an opportunity. He's absolutely got to take here. And I don't doubt he will. Michael's just travelled a bit further than I think he wanted. Oh, there's a, a, a man appears. The man with the Haribo spine. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got some company. You right, Lewis? So I have the main man, Lewis Taylor, coming to sit with me for a bit. How are you feeling? Might let you uh, sit down and. Are you fully drugged up? He's got a very bad back. Yeah, he is. Yes. If you uh, if you hear someone dribbling on the live, it will be Lewis. You getting the microphone or not? <laughs> Andy. Hello, mate. Hello. So you've been uh, you've been very much hiding away. Yes. This weekend, haven't you? Yeah, I've been running things behind the scenes as much as possible. No, all right. Now Lewis is here for the weekend. Now. Yes. I don't understand how many people would be. Tell them what you've got. I've broke my back. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> in essence, broke his back. What, how many discs? Have you, what, what Three. They're, yeah. they're herniated. They're not. Yeah, but there's, there's, yeah. there's the, when you g gave a list of all the discs, all the it's issues. Not good. There, yeah. I was like, <laughs> if that was me, I would be at home in bed just moaning. Do you <laughs> know what? It's th that, that's not even the painful bit. The painful bit is the root nerve compression from my right leg. Oh, yeah. So the pain's in my right leg. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really fun. <laughs> it's really <laughs> it's not. And you've, and <laughs> I've had it for four months. And you've still found a way to get here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not too bad. It, when I sit, it's okay. When I stand, it hurts. When I walk, it's really bad. Yeah. So. But that's how much Lewis loves pool. Yes. Do you love pool more or F1 more? Oh, you can't ask me that on a live stream. <laughs> it's because it's F1. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why I don't play the sport. Yeah. I yeah. don't play. I have played twice. I've entered twice, but right, I don't so play. I Darren, don't play. Darren's going to want a monster break. It's the one. Easy. Got. Oh, is he got a jacket? Let's have a look. Let's have a think. Yeah, he's all right. He is all right. As long as he made the points. Don't stop turning knobs now. It's all working fine. Turning the gains <laughs> down. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> Just a... Just in the background. Uh. Come on, talk, talk to me, Ryan. What are we doing here? Well, Darren needs. Uh, well, he, he, he hung an eight ball in the opening rack. Um, and that's. But then he's uh, Chris played flawlessly, and then uh, last rack uncharacteristically uh, missed something that you, you just wouldn't see Chris Melling miss, and uh, let has let Darren back in a little bit. So. Well, well, he clears the he gets the double punish, Chris. Mm. Which is what he's going to want to do. So we've got some uh, predictions. John thinks Chris Milling will win nine four. I think it's going to be a bit closer than that. Uh, Lewis thinks nine six for Chris. Both of them skill level wise, oh. there's, there's 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 nothing between them, is there? Absolutely. Um, Incredibly so accomplished, both of them, aren't they? Who feels it on the day, and who's? Uh, Who's got the right mindset for it, I suppose? Yeah, head game's real strong. It needs to be really strong in this game, regardless. Because all sorts of things can happen in Iron Ball, and it's about keeping cool and keeping on top of it. As like I do, you mean? Like, really cool and... You You're know, a prime like example consistent. of what people... Yeah, exactly. Consistent. Oh, so consistent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kn if anyone <laughs> knows of any exorcists, <laughs> um, I have been looking on eBay for an exorcist, um, on Google for an exorcist, just to, to find a way to make my brain work a bit better. Because there's demons in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get hypnotised. But I've done that before. Yeah? Yeah, it's good, actually. Mm, it's meant to be quite good. Got a prolapse disc myself. Hey, me too. Oh, dear. James, I feel your pain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I prolapsed my disc. I'm also on strong painkillers as well. I was on, I Love was on those liquid morphine and tramadol. It, that bit was great. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. I oh. stopped measuring the liquid morphine by the end. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just swigging it. This stream is not medical advice. Please speak to your doctor. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> other other sh live streams are available yeah. for medical yeah. advice. Yes, exactly. So it looks like Darren's, Darren's turned this from, what, from a 3-0 yeah. to a 3-2. Yeah, so uh, Chris, uh, nice swing. Uh, Darren, uh, Darren felt the pain of hanging that eight, and then Chris has now found the pain of rattling that two. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just a second. I feel for you, James. Speaking from a fellow back injured person. I was um I was recommended naproxen from my doctor and prescribed it, but it uh, it didn't like me, so not an option for me, sadly. Oh, that's important to be fair. Chris not happy with the um with the racking there, by the looks of things. Just having the referee just double check it. Oh, uh, I cannot pronounce your name, but the table that they're playing on is a is a Rasson, uh, Rasson table. Obviously, a sponsor of the tour, Rasson, Rasson Billiards. Very happy to have them on board and providing this beautiful table. And Chris, just having another look. He's still not happy with it. Not too sure if we can see exactly what he's um 
when he's commenting on outside of TV Total. Yuri. Uh, I think they are custom Sam tables um, that were made for us quite a while ago. And I think they're Magneto ones, but you might have to... Uh, don't call me on that one, I'm afraid. Yeah, they're, they're they're perfectly good for our uses. Um, they're um, they they play play well. They're um, they're uh, purposely built for the tour, so they're to our our specifications. Um, yeah, they've been fantastic. We've had them for quite some time now. Um, Ryan, how long have we had our tables for around the room? The Sam ones. About twenty seven years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had them for some time though, haven't we? About ten years, a bit more. Yeah, uh, quite some time now. But yeah. they've been, I mean, they're, they're they're perfectly good tables. Yeah, for for the for the tour. Yeah, they're um they're, they're good for, I think for for you guys for the because they were custom made for you, weren't they? Yes. By, by yeah. Sam. Just mentioning, yeah, exactly, custom measure. made ones, which is good. It's all right. I mean, it's provided us with pretty good consistent pool for. Considering that, that how how all the storage goes and everything and where they're stored, that yeah. they they they. Mm. they 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 do stand the test of time. Well, considering uh, we have to we have to store them in containers essentially. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you familiar <laughs> with southern fairies and northern <laughs> monkeys? I am oh so familiar with that. Myself and Lewis are <laughs> technically southern fairies. Although, if you met me, I don't think you'd describe me as a fairy, would you, Lewis? Mm, no. 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 Um, no. The northern monkeys, and that's pretty easy. That's <laughs> <laughs> I, I call them northern, um, <laughs> north, north of the wall. Anything, <laughs> anything, nor anything, anything north of Leeds, um, wild, S and up to Scotland. But then you got the Scots; they're, they're a different breed. Is they they're a good bunch? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. So, so to fill you in, um, Chris is very not happy. With he's the not rack. happy. He's, he's every rack he's so been. I think this is maybe the third or fourth attempt they've had at correcting the um, the, the, the 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 racking here, and the second. Uh, Second ref, ref yeah. representative, yes. Yeah, uh, I say that the what's the what's the lady's name? Uh, whose first event it is? I I don't know, unfortunately. I've not been too involved this event, so apologies. Yeah, I mean, I have no excuse. I was literally sat at the referee's desk last night uh, chatting to them all, mm. and I didn't find the need to ask names. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, th there's there's a couple of new faces, and it's this is all part of uh, Viv, our, our tournament director's uh, kind of initiative here with um, bringing in new people in for, you know, experience and, 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 and existing refs maybe in, in other Q sport areas as well, um, bringing them into nine ball and just opening up our pool of available talented refs to kind of have options because people are busy yeah. and things happen in life. So yeah, and obviously as as this as the sport grows um, with other organisations putting more and more events, we need more and more refs. So Absolutely. Um, if uh, if if GB Nine is a bit of a training ground for that as well, all the better. Chris wants that nine on the wing. <laughs> 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 yes, Jordan. <laughs> That's exactly it. If we could. Did you see that? Um, there was a, a video I saw a couple of days ago where the referee had put the two ball at the front of the. He put the front. Yes, of the bat I did and he see. Hit it and then he called the foul. <laughs> he called the <laughs> foul on the player. The How player, you can do that? How did the player not even notice? How do you, <laughs> you, you look down at the table and you don't see the one ball. Surely you don't break. I'm sure there's laws against that. Um, <laughs> so on the other table, <laughs> on the other table, the other quarterfinal, Marcel Price two one up against Afandad. Ooh, Afandadi. We call him the daddy, don't we? Indeed. Um, if you could go on the scores to bring the scores up, the scores? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't bring them up properly. And he brings up ten down to sixteen. Oh, I do know why. I just cannot fix that right now. He can't be bothered, people. He just can't. Be uh, he hasn't got it in him. No, it just it would break <laughs> a few things that I don't want to break midstream. He hasn't got it in him. I will, I will resolve that for people. For the meantime, though, we can sit and we can relay some info. So yeah. um, what are some other interesting games that you see there, Ron? What grabs you? Um, I would say the, ch the Challenge 1, probably most people will know. Um, challenge 1, Losers Qualifier, Jasper or Bamatora against Simon Gardner 2-1 yeah, up mm -hmm. challenge 2 last 16 just about to start um, Andy Lacey 3-1 up against Craig Brown 
uh, challenge losers qualifier. John McAllister, fourth trip against JJ Fall, played in the World Cup pool last year. I played him. Mm. I actually missed a nine to beat him at eight seven up. That's that. Oh. That still hurts. It still hurts. A cut nine in the middle. It just, Yikes. just great. Uh, we'll move on. Oh, hard um, luck, chap. Yeah, hard luck. yeah, it's great. It's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and then Stephen Ellis, 6 5 up against So Shaw. One of the, one of the biggest characters. They still haven't broke. No, the, the, I think Chris is, I think Chris is he's going to attempt to break now. I think he's either content or fed up. One of the two. I, I'm going to go with two. Yeah. I must have, the, 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 the last game, um, the break, out the first five racks, we had three dry breaks. Really? Yeah. Um, Matt had, I think Matt only made balls on one break in the whole match. Really? So whether they need to change the rack, I don't know. Or uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, uh, I know that um, I saw at the um, at the start of the event actually um, it being lined up and measured and, and marked actually with a this with a, with a white marker on the um, on the table. But obviously that's at the start of the weekend, and you know, as we all know, with um, with cloth and and tables and as the room temperature changes and the cloth played on you know things move things change don't they so they do. it might need to just uh, you know and it's a warm old room as well it's a warm it old is room. this weekend every uh, a lot of people have said that it is air conditioned and it should be i think at the same temperature well, I, I, see it's I, I said it to adam and he went it's just you and then i heard about nine people oh. within a minute go it's warm in there <laughs> 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 but then you know the tables don't mind the tables like it warm either that or he's just calling you hot well, that that goes without saying, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do run like a, a 1976 Rover engine. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm alright in winter, but I tell you what, well, like in, a K series in, 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 yeah, <laughs> in summer. Yeah, about as reliable as oh, that's oh, well played. Behave. As long as he doesn't go in, it's fine. Behave, Mr. Melling. And just in case, perfect shape on the five ball. Yeah. Let's have see that in action. Can we put a replay on it? We can't, no. But, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can actually skip backwards and watch what has just happened again. So, so Chris has got back his two-frame his two frame advantage. He had a three-frame advantage at one point. But, um, Looks like all that time on the rack was worth it. It appears so. Yeah. He was nowhere near on the one ball, though. Nowhere no. Near. Did he make the wing? Uh, I didn't see. I think he made the wing. I think he made the <laughs> wing ball. So, yeah, it was a lovely shot. It was a good two-way shot. It was a very, very good two-way shot. Yeah, nothing to lose there. Overly. Uh, no. I mean, you know, if you rattle, if you mm. miss, miss the four ball, put it over the route of the nine, put the four ball over the nine, he would have lost, <laughs> he would have lost something there. But no, uh, you're right. It was, uh, it was, he was never missing the pot. Yeah, and he had he had a good opportunity to screw back for the five. So Yuri, the um, uh, I don't have a link for you, but if you go onto YouTube and if you uh, just search your GB9 ball tour, you should find a channel straight away. You'll find it at GB9. Just GB9. Oh, just GB9. Just search. GB9. You'll you'll better. There you go. Should we should we do a live test of that? Yes. Yeah. Watch this. Am I opening my YouTube app? I'm typing in GB9. Oh, the first yeah. one's first the stream. One. Look first at that. First one's the stream. Beautiful. So yeah, no, we've um, we've only recently started streaming to YouTube. Uh, on. Oh, he's just he's got a shot. He's gonna need his midget stick. It's not a pleasant shot, but he's got it. He's definitely gonna need his midget stick. <laughs> now we um we, we took on board some feedback. So um, as much as our community is very much on Facebook, um, we have a lot of people that can't necessarily be here that still want to watch the event, and uh, they want to better watch the event from their TV. So um, obviously YouTube is pretty much on every smart TV going, so it made sense to try to yeah. dual stream it to YouTube and Facebook. Also, I do forget there's comments on YouTube as well. Which, which there are, are you, yeah. You, we are should have the, you can have them open on your phone. I'll have them open on my phone. So Dave oh, Pearson, good, come on, good Chris. Right. Well, we've got some. Uh, Ronnie Heard, how hard is it to rack nine balls? Why two refs? I think there's, there's um, obviously the, these these guys are you know top pros and if that there's something that that mm. some some people might not see that they see and the they just want to make sure that uh there's there's no gaps there and uh, they've got the best chance of making the balls as they can absolutely uh cami and facebook chat um we we only unfortunately have one table streamed uh and that's table one so the other quarter final is currently on table two at the moment marcel price versus off and dead marcel leading that three to one um should we go move that second angle camera on that table 
Well, there is a camera above table two, but it's, it has sadly decided to no longer be with us. Uh, yeah, this event. Um, well, where's, where's this one? Let's just turn that one around. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, look at, we'll look at doing it. We'll look at doing it. Because what we tend to try and do is flick between the two when it comes to... I like, I like putting loose on the spot. doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. <laughs> no, you just don't like the answers. <laughs> <laughs> Or blade. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. Daryl looking very solid here so far. So we've got a bit of a race here. We've got 169 mm. on Facebook and we've got 127 on YouTube. Oh, it's quite close. All right, let's see which audience is most receptive to doing as, as they're asked. <laughs> YouTube people, share your links. And where are they going to share They're going to share on Facebook, aren't they? So yeah, that, would, that would kind of... Yeah, it doesn't matter, actually. Yeah, If all the Facebook guys share your link... And all the YouTube guys share your link. Let's see. I mean, it's not like you're not sharing absolute quality here. I mean, look at Chris and, and, and Darren. Yeah. Oh, no, I get to watch Chris Melling and Darren Appleton play. Oh, that'd be it's a shame. It's not a hard decision to click it. Absolutely it? not. I think we can get these rookie numbers up, can't we? Yeah. A bit better than yesterday when I was talking to 22 people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way it goes, you know. Well, the, me and Terry's uh, 1 a.m. cameo last night. That was good yeah. fun. <laughs> Just <laughs> ripping Adam a new one. I did cut you off. That was me that stopped the stream. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were thinking it. <laughs> you just didn't want to say anything, but that was me. I think we were digressing, weren't we? A little bit. You were the, I think you were there going, now, now I've just got two lads who've had a drink. It's very late. Live without any pool on, and people are actually no listening to these idiots. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to press the big red button. Yeah. This was a wise move. I wonder. I wonder if um, the ref here is going to move, or, ch or just move slightly the rack here to make it sit a bit nicer. Possibly the, the, the Dynasphere racks. They do. Um, there's uh, room for us. Obviously, the way you load them into the into the rack is is quite important. With the oh, thanks, John. Um, the way you load them into the rack. Um, from my experience, anyway, it ma matters quite a lot because there's there's almost two positions where the balls can sit within the rack. Yeah. Because the holes are, uh, are quite big in there. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's it's making sure you load the balls into the rack properly, which Chris is happy anyway. Yeah, he seems happy with that one, doesn't he? We'll see if that translates to a, a good break. Obviously, with some of some events now um, where the ref, the rack, and then you're not you're not allowed to look. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you get what you're given. You get what you're given. Yeah. Thank you for the share, Robert. So there we are. G nice big shot on ball. Not exactly a perfect layout, but... Mm -hmm. There's movement behind us, Lewis. There is. Who is it? Oh. Oh. A lash at that, isn't he? Oh, we're going to get to watch that again in just a few seconds' yeah. time on our left. Sink at that. He's he's got up off it, you know. He's uh, his head's raised on it. I think he's left it though. He's definitely left enough of it. Is it one point five points for a ball potted? It is, yes. Okay, so they must make three points from the break. Each ball potted is one point five points. Each ball that passes the head string is one point. That's right. If we don't make three, control passes to the other person. Indeed. They can put you back in, or they can play a push, or carry on from where it is. This is this is looking pretty. Um, Darren is going to be happy with that. He's 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 living the dream with he what he's been left with there. He would not have bet much of his fishing gear on Christmas, in that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I reckon he's quite partial to his fishing gear. He's done quite a lot, hasn't he, recently? I'm, I'm interested to know what, what if someone said you can't play pool, or you can't fish again. What Darren would choose? That's a good point. I reckon I reckon he'd choose to fish. You know. I know Shane would. <laughs> well, he's clearly very good at the fishing because I mean, he. You see what he's been catching on the uh, fish. Facebook. Fish, 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 fish. Really? Yeah, fish. Yeah. Jesus. That's uh. It's quite good. I've never been. I've never got the fishing thing. I'm. Uh, no, me neither. I'm. I'm too impatient to. A very wait for an animal game. to be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been sea fishing before. That was quite. That was quite cool. You live near the sea. I live very near the sea. Lewis has stayed in my house. I you, have, Lewis? yeah. Hopefully, myself and Lewis will be going oh to uh, 
Zandvoort F1 will be well in September for my 40th. That's the plan. That's the plan. It's a pl- there's a plan emerged this weekend, isn't there? Oh, it's 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 a great plan. If, um, it, if it goes even it to 50% as well as we hope, it will be great. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, well done there to Darren. What else have we got? I think those are the scores around the room. I can, d- I can do this one. So f- it's Marcel's 4 1 up against Arfan. Yeah. And then scores around the room. That one there. Not much to tell you, really. No. Got a couple of results Nick. from the challenge. You've got uh, Benji beat. Oh, Benji beat Adam Stevens 7 1 in the end. Hey, El Capitano. Yeah. So Benji lost. Uh, Benji lost to Terry Challenger in the winners' qualifier. My oh boy. Mm. Yes. Mm. Terry's Terry's he's, he's picking up some form through. He's good. played himself in. Tom Staveley lost to Ian McCormick. All right. Darren wants a big break here, doesn't he? It's yeah. If he can get out ahead now at this point, that's a big. Sh- that's a, a massive shift from where it was. Yes. From sorry, three 0 right. down. So we made one, one and a half points, two and a half points, so three and a half points. So it's fully legal. He can carry on at the table. There we are. Hope that explained it, Lee. A bit more live. Yeah. In a break. Exactly. So, quick pop on YouTube. So, if there's any. Oh, there's loads. Oh, look, see, look at this. You ask the YouTube boys to share it. <laughs> Shared, lads. Thank you, Ryan Broad, for sharing. <laughs> Peace to the fanboy. Oh, they're a bit meaner here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Don't know. Yuri K. It's final today. It is, yeah. Bog does. Um, I think you should. Uh, I think you should maybe come to the event, Bog does. Um, the uh, the the Rassen does play a little bit. It plays bigger than the outside tables. Um, if you if you do think this game's easy, then it's uh, a free two grand for you this weekend. So oh, there you go. Pop down to the next event and you can't go. afford not to at that price. You know, come on, it's an embarrassing game apparently, and it's two two grand in your pocket. <laughs> easy. <laughs> what, what you know? I'll get the check ready. Go easy on. peasy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what the next event bog does. Thanks for the share, John. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to um, a few months back to Jason Shaw about this event. Um, and he and he conceded that it's it, although you might not have a full field of the best players in the world here, you've still got some of the best players in the world. But mm. the conditions, the the tough, they are the, you know the, the the outside tables play incredibly tight, especially with pace um, and yeah. winning this tournament. It took Jason about six seven attempts from to from yeah he won. The last time he was here, but um, he he did fail in about five six attempts. That I was uh, I've been here with him. Yeah. <coughs> so um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a tr- it's a tricky tournament. It's it's like with anything as well. I mean, you know, uh, when you when you're watching it from a single camera view, it 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 looks a particular way. I mean, thing is, if it looks easy, then it's just kudos to the the players involved there making it look yeah. easy because you know. Like with many things, it always looks a lot easier from the couch, doesn't it? Or from, you know, wherever. Yeah, it um. does. Absolutely. These middles are tight for that for that five ball, if that's what he's thinking. They're yeah, uh, they are. They are quite tricky. You need to be pretty bob on to get that. They're, they're very cut out there, very cut outwards, so they don't they don't sort of promote gobbling the ball up from an angle. No. <laughs> Mark White shared to sixteen pool groups around the world. Cool man. Thank you very much, Mark. Darren Howlett. Oh, he's local to me. Hello, Darren. Down in down in sunny Devon. Oh, he's played a cracking shot there. Very nice. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got tricky balls here. Six, five to six is tough. Six to seven, he's got to make sure wherever he lands on this six, he's got enough angle to get across for that seven. Yeah. This truly is a challenge of the follically, follically challenge this match. He's got it. <laughs> 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 there is not a hair on a head in this match. Uh, I mean, it's surprising. <laughs> it's surprising none of them are sponsored by Keeps. But <laughs> you know, yeah. Maybe there's some future options. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna make a Shane Warne 
uh, comment there than realised. Yeah. Still very poorly timed. Yeah, so very badly timed. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> that's, that's just in the sponsorship deal somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's done very well with this. Who are um, Chris's sponsors these days? I know. Um, Mark, yeah, the US still asleep. Well, we're about, what, about six hours behind the US? Well, six and East Coast. Nine, isn't it? Yeah. Is it five and nine? Oh, yeah. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight savings, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, five and nine. So, Darren, out of nowhere, I wonder if um, that, uh, that chopped, is it one ball? Yeah, chopped yeah. one ball. Yeah. And the issues with the racks, just is that is that playing on Chris's mind a bit? Oh, possibly. I mean, he's going to have to keep strong, Chris. Um, you know. Yeah, Darren. Darren looks. He looks composed. He's looking very well, isn't he, Darren? He is actually. He's looking very yeah. well. Very well. I've said that three times now, Darren. You can. Um, <laughs> you can pay me later. You've earned your money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 Make sure you say I look fit on the stream. <laughs> I mean, he's he's probably. I mean, I, I didn't get a chance to have a word with um uh, with Darren before playing in the, in the event and stuff. But I can imagine he's probably been been looking forward to to playing playing pool and yeah, you know, playing in a in a good and competitive environment again for 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 a little bit. So absolutely. I mean, you know, we're, we're obviously Darren, a massive massive advocate of the GB9 and always has been. He's been a, a very a very strong and, and and good supporter of the tour and. You know he's he's always playing when he can. There are always sometimes when there are other events that uh, you know he, ne he needs to prioritise. But he's very much um, part of the the heart and soul of, of the GB9 in terms of players. Absolutely. Oh, Chris is at it again. He's not happy. And you know he's got every right. To be. He wants. Um, he's in a tight match against uh, Darren yeah. Appleton in the quarterfinals. It's a uh, you know. A and Darren's turned it around on him. And this you is know. probably the toughest draw they're going to have to the final. On, yes. pa on paper. On paper, yeah, paper. for sure. He's made a ball. I mean, you can see the one, so. Yeah, I just got, I didn't, I didn't see where he had it. I'm watching on the replay now. Just rack him and smack him. Unfortunately, it works a bit different than that, Mark, and that's probably mm. why he's in the quarterfinals and I'm the. <laughs> I'm sat here. Same here. <laughs> I'm sat here is because I, I'm very much the same. I, I try <laughs> and rack him and smack him. He doesn't. Oh, oh no, 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 no. He's got up again off that. That's uh, that's twice I've seen him. I've just realised I was commentating on the replay, <laughs> not the miss ball. No, that's okay. Um. All right. So, oh, Darren. Darren with another chance at the table. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's twice now I've seen Chris get up off the shot, just not bear down and stay down on it. Mm. Um, and obviously, as soon as you do that, you're contacting the cue ball differently. You're not, you're not going through the ball as sweetly as you want to. I know it's down or stayed right down on this. Oh, if he gets behind the nine. He's a you know, naughty shot there. That's a great, great shot there. I expect Chris to... Um, would he jump? I, I, I thought he might jump, but then because they're lined up, he might kick at it because there's a, a fair, oh, yeah. fair chance there to make the seven ball. Mm -hmm. But then the line for kicking it, the, the six ball, the, the only thing I, he might do is try and screw off. He's trying to hit it hard off this one yeah, rail. Yeah, you're right. He's trying to bend it round. No, it's not hard enough for that. I think he, if he plays that with, with a bit of screw, it'll just, just arc it round. He would have arced it round that ball a bit. Yeah, you normally see him measuring them up for a bit longer than that. Do you think that's just uh, maybe maybe uh, mentally not with it at the moment in this maybe point in the maybe game? Maybe just a bit of frustration. Yeah. Um, maybe just some frustration, letting um, any issues with the rap maybe um, play on his mind a bit. Maybe miss balls. Maybe just not. Yeah. Maybe just not not feeling it. But they're both top pros and they can they can sort the red out pretty quickly. I'm sure. I mean, look at Darren Nary's. You know, he wasn't. He made a couple of mistakes. A couple of mistakes early. 
you. Found himself behind, but now no, he's kept it kept it tight and uh, doesn't like missing a ball now. No, not at all. Watch him miss a ball now. <laughs> Commentator's <laughs> curse. <Whoa. laughs> he, he used all the pocket. <laughs> It wasn't just me that clenched, was it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down the sore throat here. Right. Are there any more comments on YouTube? I'm sure there is. I've missed them. Loads of them. I've got the, one of the best usernames. Players, people watching, always ever run that. So yeah. there's, there's, a, there's someone watching on YouTube called Fat Old Guy Plays Guitar. That's his YouTube channel. I quite like that. That's his I YouTube channel. I think you know a lot about that person already. I think he's fat, old, and man, and plays guitar. Right. You know, bear That's down on this. If we can try and roll this in dead weight. Let's stay on the eight. Oh, Plum. what a shot. Plum. Lovely position for the eight as well. We've got someone from Vietnam watching. Oh, welcome. Did you know... I once got drunk in a bar in Koh Phi Phi in Thailand with a good friend of mine called Willem. He's a Dutch guy who's six foot seven, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> six six. Um, so he made you look small. <laughs> yeah, and we were we were watching the this was back in 2010, watching the Top Gear special uh, when they went to Vietnam and they bought the their scooters and then drove the length of Vietnam. Yep. So one thing led to another, uh, and all I can say is we woke up in the morning and we had booked flights to Ho Chi Minh. To Ho Chi Minh City for the day after, and we flew to Vietnam the day after, mm-hmm. and bought some motorbikes, and drove from the south to the north of Vietnam. Wow! On 100cc motorbikes, <laughs> we nearly died about 11 <laughs> times, but we did do it. We we literally got drunk, watched Top Gear, went, "That's a good idea. It's the next country over. <laughs> Let's get some flights." That sounds so it lucky. Was. We did it. We did. It. We did it in 10 days. And so uh, stopped off, uh, and we, oh we made sure we didn't me. we didn't go to any cities or big towns. We just stayed in villages. It was really random. Oh, sounds good. So they just all of a sudden these two giants <laughs> walking through <laughs> these villages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've we've had an update from the um, just just briefly from the tournament director uh, Viv, just to clarify actually did the the, um, the 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 protocol the process for um, racking up now with the refs so in general anyway is that. The ref will rack for the players, and the the players can have a look at the rack, but the ref will not rack. You are you get what you are given. Yeah, what you're given. So thanks for clearing that up, Viv. Hmm. Which I think is uh, perfectly fine. I think the phrase is like it. Or yeah, like uh, it. very much, very much so. Yeah. I mean, it just stops situations there, like you know when you you yeah. get like a <laughs> a, a ten minute. Re-racking interval, Absolutely. essentially, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those. It's uh, you, if you open that, if you open the door, um, yeah. then it's it's uh, open for abuse, isn't it? Unfortunately, but I mean, the thing is, you can you can you can have it racked as many he's times not as you like. About this rack, there is he. No, he's done no, very they've good. So. They've split beautifully. A bit, a little bit straight on this too. He's all right, but he's still he's still got a play shot to just make sure he clears. He's probably not. He's not going to want to come back. He's, he might he might come forward off off two rails here around the five. But you know, if he had a bit more angle, he'd want to just drift, drift into the middle of the table. He might still do that. Yeah, I think it's the angle is quite deceiving on the camera. Isn't yeah, it? possibly. There's more angle there than it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Good decision, oh. Viv. Oh, well, this is uh, this is quite big. If uh, if Darren can see this through and make this a uh, seven-four mm. lead, that's a quite a command. Three nil down. Exactly. Three nil down to seven-four up. Um, Marcel Price now four-three. Our fan down. So our fans pulled a couple back. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, he wants that to slow oh, a little he bit. He does want that to slow a lot. He's all right. Body language looks like he's okay with it. I can give you another angle which won't tell you anything. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> but we do have another angle. There you go. Yeah. We're just letting you know we do have two angles. In case you're wondering, you know. Yeah. We normally have more, but unfortunately we've had a few um, uh, cabling issues. And to be fair, you have a, gl- a spine made of glass. So you can't <laughs> really be... Cl- 
timing in any way. Well, actually, this leads me perfectly on to just thanking very much the help of some of the players, actually, the, um, some of the people here on the Cheap and Committee that come here uh, every single event, uh, uh, you know, uh, days early yeah. to, you know, spend their own time. It's completely unpaid, you know, to, to what, set up I'm the am event. I not, am I not getting paid for this? Oh, did no one tell you? Oh. Oh. Uh, I've already got the invoice. You're not going to like it. Oh. Well, you're not going to like the, the response to the uh, invoice, <laughs> I'm afraid. Right. Well, I'm off then. How do we deal with this? No, I've got to go. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, they, they thankfully were incredibly, incredibly helpful with uh, not just setting up the, the stream stuff for all you viewers to enjoy, but um, but for, you know, if you've, if you've not been to these events, um, you know, I've recently played in the UK Open. Uh, the the conditions UK Open were fantastic. You know the, the the setup was fantastic, but the the level of uh, player focus on this tour and uh, how informative if when you when you're playing in this event, you always know when you're playing. You it's yeah. there's always live scoring. There's there's no roll on roll off system. You there's a time for your match, and you know you always know if if your table's not ready, you know what table you're going to be on. Yeah, it's yeah. very player focused. There's lot there's you know there's lounge areas for the players. All get to practice afterwards as well. It's uh, a very very social event. It's, and if, it's if always been designed if you like wanted it. Wanted to try nine ball. Mm. I I actually joined the tour eight years ago before even playing a rack of nine ball. It was a New Year's resolution, and uh, I pretty much I think I've missed two events since, and that's it. Wow, is that all you've missed too? Yeah, the la last event I actually missed was drag racing. Yeah, yeah. That was my wife's fault. Thanks, wife. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I've only missed the uh, two events in eight years, I think. Wow, that's really impressive. I mean, the, the tour itself is um, it's it's full of players. It's um, it's a uh, uh, everything everything raised is put straight back into the tour. It's a it's a, a not for profit. It's Although Adam did just get a new car, didn't he? And you, <laughs> and you got a new car as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, no, no. <laughs> But no, oh, for I mean we the the tour is um is is essentially it's uh, it's ran by the players, so it's yeah, it's good, and you can tell because it's very player centric. So top of the morning to you too, uh, Raymond. Yeah, top of the morning. There we are. So what, how many? What have you? Oh, we're one hundred and ninety nine. What an annoying figure. Oh, two oh three. There we go. Two oh two oh three on Facebook. Oh, hold on. I think YouTube's winning. You know. You're joking. Oh, 250 on YouTube. Wow. So we're up to 455. Oh, so it's a good game. 455 right? poor people. It's a shame the commentary's trash, but the, the, the game's fantastic. Chris needs, he needs something now. He needs something. He's got a shot on the one. He's made his three points. Two past the headstring and one ball. He's got to caress this ball in. He, uh, well, he's we had got to stay down on this ball and and the last two times he's had a shot at the one yeah. ball he's uh, do do what not done well. Do what you do, Chris. Oh, he's oh, he's oh no! Oh. He punched that. He did. He punched that. He didn't stroke that in. He's got a oh, kiss off the nine. Darren literally needs to put the hammer down on him now. He d oh, I just watched that. Just. It was unlucky too. It was yeah. unlucky too. I think it was just the collision, wasn't it? With yeah. the with the other ball there. Oh, and no. Sent Facebook, it in. Facebook's two nineteen, it's catching back up. Intense, intense rivalry here. <laughs> there's a bit of ban there's a bit of banter going on on the uh, on the YouTube. <laughs> I hope it's PG. <laughs> I'll have to uh, you know. No, there's just no. Okay, that's good, that's fine. That's good. Uh, someone good called Rarely Comments has commented twice. Wow. Yeah, loving the commentary. Oh, thank right. you very much. Oh, well, that's, that's a lie, but thank you very much. I'll put Paul, Ma Paul McKeon and said uh, the commentary was, was excellent. And I was like, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, mate. No, that's not you. You won't hear it. No, no, of course not. <laughs> that's why it was excellent. <laughs> okay. I mean, what kind of challenges are you seeing here with this run out for, for Darren? Just leaving enough angle on this six. Mm. Just making sure, because he, he might have just, just punched it onto a rail. He, he never know with Darren. He might just finesse up, but below it and then spin off it. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Some players would punch onto that. 
but he's got enough confidence in his cue ball control to just finesse that. It was lovely. There's no issues now. Just off straight on the seven he wants, really. No. Like exactly oh. that. But he's all right. <laughs> he's, he's, he's fine. fine. Screw it, screw this back three, four inches. Roll, roll through the black. Eight in the mid. Easy peasy. Yeah. There he is. Organised. Uh, do you remember that ghost match? Money match I organised with Kurt Weaver and Darren Appleton. Yeah, vaguely I do. It was a little bit... Um, I think that helped Darren. Actually, yep. Fo focus the mind a bit. Yeah, because it was a couple, a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? Enjoying yeah, I was going to say it was a little bit, a little while ago now. <coughs> and it was 30 racks against the Ghost um, versus um, a very, very good player from the Southwest, Kurt Weaver. Um, and I think Darren ran 29. Wow. It was 28 or 29 he ran. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he, w he was struggling for form at the events. And mm -hmm. I think he, 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 I think he found, got, he, I think he took something from that um, just because he. It was a it was a hell of a spectacle. It, it was just kept running and running and Imagine. running. I think it was twenty. I think it was twenty nine. I think Kurt did about twenty five. Um, so it was, um, it was a, a cracking little uh, money match. Kurt probably didn't thank me for the idea <laughs> after him for losing a couple <laughs> of grand. But um, oh, we got pigeons. Twenty nine. Well, was it twenty nine? I wow. thought it was Chris. Impressive stuff. Bit of a tall, ma bit of a tall mountain now for Chris to climb here. Yeah, I don't, um, I, I, I don't think we're going to see it. Um, I think, I think that Darren looks um, a solid. Yeah, uh, not with Darren playing as well as this you know, at this point. He's, uh, he's, he's looking ominously comfortable. But obviously, I think Chris has, Chris has helped him out a little bit as well. I mean, if Chris takes his chance, this is not an eight-four game. Um, but he's thrown his arm at a few, isn't he? And he's scratched on that last one. So don't want to want to see this off here, really. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Kurt's on as well. So speak of the <laughs> devils, I think I ran 21. He's a bit good. He was a bit good. Sorry about that, Kurt. He <laughs> certainly is a bit good. Oh, where's that going to end up? Oh, the nine ball has travelled. <laughs> Yeah, that's isn't it? Crikey. Love it. That must have, did he get kicked? Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah. It did, it yeah. Got kicked, got kicked up the table. How are you anyway, Pigeon? You all right? What's he doing this weekend? Then? I don't know. He just got on Facebook. He's probably telling us all. <laughs> <laughs> What's the prize money breakdown? Uh, is it 2000 two for the winner. Um, and less for non-winners. <laughs> Lower <laughs> denominations <laughs> for the rest, yeah. I'm just watching back. Uh, that was a good shot. It's, good shot. shot. it's a very good... It's a it's an inviting jump shot, this is, though. It is. You've got nice, gap, nice gaps to five. You're only jumping over two-thirds of the board. He needs a bit of luck here. Yeah. He ain't getting it. No, he's, he's not. He's not getting he? it. It's not a foregone conclusion. I've got a... Got a small window about where to get in on that five ball. Um, if he does get on it, fine. And um, he's pretty much auto position on the six. <coughs> now I've got my uh, room checkout extension to one o'clock. I'm testing the boundaries off. <laughs> 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 Have you already packed, or do you need to pack? Oh, no, I still need to pack. Oh, okay. And it looks like um, a teenage girl's just, un like, <laughs> just literally walked into a room, thrown her clothes in the room. <laughs> They're all just giant clothes. <laughs> <laughs> just a very tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of them tournament-worn. Mm, mm. So the sweaty ass. Uh, I, I wasn't going to go there. Does Daryl Peach still play? Not on tour. Um... He's the only world champion I've ever been. I'll, I'll, I've got to, I get to keep that forever. <laughs> 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 I do, I you paid him off not forever. to play anymore, is how it is. So, uh, <laughs> that's that's the um, granddad. Were you only good at pool when you were older? <laughs> well, I beat the world champion. I did. <laughs> I get to take that to uh, me, Greg. That's, uh, that's pretty much the only claim to fame I've got in pool. 
Oh God! Oh, it's so depressing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, that's. Uh, and uh, as it, as a man, I will embellish that greatly Absolutely. over the years. Oh yeah, the story will just become more, more and more it, grandeur. It won't be nine eight. I, I would have beat him nine nil <laughs> or something by the time I'm eighty five. He technically lost a rack. It was nine minus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I forced him to concede out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> just one look in my that's eyes and that was it yeah, that story's <laughs> getting belly embellished I won't remember any of the luck I got any of the miss, miss balls that went safe I won't remember any of that anyway <laughs> what do we do? this is tricky is he going to play this inside English off three rails like a champ oh, he nice. is he needs to slow down if he hits that Ooh. nine he's absolutely plum oh. six is alright still yeah he'll, yeah he'll, I reckon he'll Probably kill this ball in the middle. Just kill the white ball. Um, leave himself an angle. Let's get on the six. Could run it down with the inside, but I don't. Mm. It's not straightforward, so he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to work this. It's probably a bit more angle than I can tell here. Mm. This is a tricky little one. This is. Could stun it bottom rail a bit right hand side, but let's see how he feels. Yeah, there it is. No, it's just a just the pot. What's the other table saying? Marcel Price five four up against Alphandad. All right, got a bear down on this. This is the this is the match here. Beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely, he's looking solid, Darren. Yeah. One missed ball, pick, absolutely sorted himself out. Hasn't done yeah. a thing wrong since. And then taken every single chance he's been given. Punished. Yeah. He, he's he's pretty much um, any, any anything Chris has done. He's magnitude the 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 feeling of uh, missing a ball on him, hasn't he? He's yeah. uh, he's not helped Chris at all. <laughs> it's not it's not in his uh, job description too though, is it? Let's face it, you know. Oh, we need it to go a bit more. That's okay. I mean not ideal. He didn't want it there, did he? But he'll take it. <laughs> yep. As I say, these middles are funny. He'll be fine. Yeah. Right. So next up, we've got <laughs> another well, whopper. Indeed. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's the third time I've said whopper. I said him yesterday as well. Well You're hungry. done, Darren. Nine four. Nine four. So next up is Mark Gray, Imran Majid, isn't it? Uh, you are correct. It is. It's a uh, uh, Mr. Mark Gray and Imran. And that's a Majid, one, yeah. one fifteen. That will be back. Yeah. So in about twenty minutes' time, when we'll it back kicked off. Um, is it? Uh, is it like it's gone early, if, or are they? Or are they going to be on schedule time? It might do. Uh, it could go on early if both players are knocking around, which they tend to anyway. They tend to be. Um, uh, sitting around uh, in the area uh, at the front of the venue. Hopefully not, because I've got to check out. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think it'll be on that early if it is anyway. So, But keep an eye out. Um, if yeah. you want to get notified, make sure you either subscribe on YouTube for any, uh, and hit the bell icon for the notifications. Or if you follow the GP9 like Tour. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, if you follow the GP9 Tour on, on Facebook as we go live, you'll be notified. So, um, Yeah, that's... Um What's that one? Sorry, even put Darren's really been running. Into it. Yeah, he is. That, I mean, he's from three 0 down to win nine four. There, that was a, a great turnaround, great win. Good to see Darren uh, solid as a rock there. Absolutely, dug deep and, and just plowed his way through. Yeah. Well, we will see you. Well, uh, I will um, see you shortly. Yeah. Good luck. See you later. Perfect. Bye bye.